It is a weapon our adversaries in today's world do not have. Let that be understood by those who practice terrorism and prey upon their neighbors. Some U.S. intelligence analysts believe America is already in a state of war with the Soviet Union. Are Soviet spies living among us? 52 American citizens have been taken hostage at the American Embassy in Tehran. An unnamed White House official claims that a Cold War disaster could be just around the corner. Mr. President, we have two names linked to the hostage situation. Arash Kadavar and Kasim Javadi. Just give the word. It's time to send a message. There will be no more hostages. You sure we can trust the police, Adler? This guy's done more for less. You'll look the other way. Adler? Glad you could join us, Hans. You remember Mason. We cleared a move on the target. Kasim is in his apartment, but he's well protected. I can keep my men out of the area for 15 minutes. I hope you brought an army. We brought enough. Pleasure doing business with you, Hans. Come on. Woods is itching for a dust up. We don't want to let him down. We're on the clock, Woods. Let's not keep Kasim waiting. Hey, Mason. The party favors are in the trunk. Shit probably thinks he's safe. That piece of trash is a lot of things. But safe ain't one of them. Do we really need to take this son of a bitch alive, Adler? Kazim has info we need. <laughs> Apartment's just up ahead. Hans only bought us 15 minutes. We need to hit Kasim hard and fast. Let's go. Let's help him bring in the new year. Light him up, Mason. Go, go, go! There's Kasim!
Wait, wait! I just handle the money? I have no idea where Arashi is. I don't think you understand the situation. Ah! The Americans have rules. You have rules. You took hostages. The rules changed. Wait, wait, wait. He's in Turkey. He's meeting someone in Trap Zone Airfield tomorrow night. Oh, oh, I swear, I swear I don't know. They only communicate with coded messages. This is not up. All right, let's load him up. He'll find his voice soon enough. Let me know if he needs some help looking for it. Hudson, we're bringing you a present. He's in Trap Zone, Turkey. Kasim is out of the picture. How long before we get Arash? The team arrived in Turkey a few hours ago. They should be in position shortly. Airfield's just up ahead. Let's go find this shithead. Priority is to ID a Raj before things go hot. Truck. That's gotta be a rush. 
Hold fire. We need a positive ID. That's our man. To stop him this time. Stop who? Perseus. Bullshit. Perseus is dead. Dead? <laughs> All this time and you didn't even know. <laughs> Perseus will watch the west. Hudson will want to hear about this. Let's sweep the tarmac for survivors and get to Langley. Who the fuck is Perseus? Nineteen forty-three. Detailed information from the Manhattan Project was stolen from Los Alamos by the Russian spy known as Perseus. Nineteen sixty-eight. The Vietnam War. Viet Cong soldiers orchestrated by Perseus attempted to steal an American-made nuclear bomb from a U.S. firebase. Five days ago, while on a mission, we acquired intel that Perseus is in play again and planning an attack on the West. Perseus. The CIA's analysts consider him to be the single largest threat to the free world. Mr. Hudson, we're all aware of Perseus. We're also aware he's more myth than fact. I mean, personally, I think he's nothing more than the Russian boogeyman. General Haig, allow me to introduce the man I suited to respond to that. CIA clandestine special officer, Russell Adler. 
He's one of the few people who even come close to capturing Perseus. Uh, Mr. Adler, why should we take this Perseus threat seriously? You don't have to, sir. <laughs> yeah, then a lot of innocent people are gonna die. Why do you say that? Sir, every time Perseus has come into play, it's shifted the balance of the Cold War. And after 13 years of silence, if he's active, something big is gonna happen. Something that will affect the free world. Mr. President. Sir. Mr. President. Mr. President, this is Jason Hudson and Russell Adler. I know their names. Who do you think approved their last mission? Is the threat real? Yes, sir, we believe it is. Can you stop Perseus? We can, sir. I've already submitted the requisition for my team. Sir, their requests are highly irregular. Most likely illegal. If the press gets a hold... What the hell are you talking about? You know who we are? Every mission we go on is illegal. Sergeant Woods, plausible deniability is the backbone of our work. Al, we're talking about preventing an attack on the free men and women of the world. Give Mr. Adler whatever he wants. Gentlemen, you've been given an important task. Protecting our very way of life from a great evil. There is no higher duty. There is no higher honor. And while few people will know of your struggles, rest assured, the entire free world will benefit. I know you won't fail us. This is Hudson. How long until we have a lead on Perseus? They're about to get started. Adler's in West Berlin. He should be at the safe house soon. Do you trust him? <laughs> I'm not the one you should be asking, Black. What about his team? It's a strong group. He chased down Sims, Azalea, even pulled some strings to get Helen Park from MI6. We'll get them Mason and Woods soon. I'm not so sure about Park. She and Adler have that business from before. Of course he wants her there. And the new one. Well, well don't get me started. That's the one we need to keep our eyes on.
Bell. Welcome to West Berlin. We've got a job to do. Mark. Adler. Bell. Let's get started. There's been a surge in Russian chatter in the last 48 hours. The CIA and the DOD are tapping their inside sources for anything substantial. So far, there are no leads on Perseus. MI6 has come up empty-handed as well. And we'll have to start somewhere. So we're going back here. Vietnam, 1968. One of our closest encounters with Perseus. Shit. Some part of me always knew that mission wasn't done with us. Pull up everything we've got on the attack in Da Nang and run it past Park. She'll cross-reference it with MI6. We're looking for code names, encrypted transmission, Russian activity with NVA, anything that could be a lead. Got it. Bell, this is where you come in. We needed the best of the CIA and SOG, and that's exactly why I requested you again. Head to the evidence board. We'll retrace our steps through Da Nang. Anything that could give us a lead on Perseus. That's it. Seems Thank you, Agent Azalea. Medical supplies will be in the back room.
All right, Bell. We're going back to Vietnam. First time Perseus pinged our radar. It was late January 68. We were a joint CIA SOG task force embedded within the 3rd Marine Regiment near Da Nang. SOG was there to sniff out Soviet activity. Word had it, Russian operatives were active in the region. Perseus had no known presence in Vietnam. That changed at Da Nang. Somehow, Perseus knew about Operation Fracture Jaw. Fracture Jaw? That one sure went sideways. We launched out of Camp Haskins. Yeah, I'll never forget that shit. Good. We want those memories. No details too small. A face, a name. We're looking for anything that can lead us to Perseus. This feels like looking for a needle in a haystack. In a field of haystacks. Maybe, but that needle's somewhere. Remember, we had a job to do. Fracture jaw. That one sure went sideways. Bell, it's time to wake up. It's crank time. Welcome to another day in the life of Camp Haskins, a little oasis in the middle of this godforsaken shitstorm. You're pretty safe here. Hey, Butcher, how's the arm? Still hurts like hell, but at least I can move it. You know, reading that shit's gonna make you go blind. Yep. That's why I wanted all up here. Bell, you're with Sims. You usually bring out the best in each other. We got a new assignment. FOB4 Ripcord is holding a vital asset that Charlie wants real bad. What kind of asset are we talking about? The kind you don't ask about. Ripcord has been taking a hell of a beating. So it's our job to secure the asset and get the fuck out. Relax, we got fast flyers providing combat air support for this mission. It'll be a walk in the park. Headsets on. All birds check in when ready. Badger Niner 1, good to go. Badger Niner 2, clear to go. Badger Niner 3, rotors up. All birds, go, go, go. Crank up and pull pitch. All birds are in the air. You all sitting comfortably? Oh man, Adler. Why do I get the feeling you about to give us some bad news? Because you're a smart guy, Sims. But the news isn't bad. In fact, it could be very, very good. The asset of Ripcord is going to have to wait a little while. We're breaking off from the Armada, taking a detour. And that's good because... A source tipped us off that there may be a heavy hitter in town. A Soviet operative known as Perseus. Oh, shit. Appreciate the enthusiasm, Sims. If our source is right, we could be looking at an Intel gold mine. First time Perseus pinged our radar. Approaching the village now. Roger that. Moving to establish an LZ. RPG! Top two, light him up! There! In the bell tower!
and me, Bell. Let's do this. Looking for a needle in a haystack. You hear that? It's on you, Bell. Open the door. Adler, we confirmed it. Soviets on site. You sure? Well, I'm staring at two bodies that sure as hell don't look Vietnamese to me. Bell, grab that comms log. Let's see who the fuck they've been talking to. Mission accomplished. We have the intel. Let's bug out. Good work. Hang on to that intel. We're coming in to pick you up.
Alright, let's go rejoin the Armada and get this fucking asset. Watch yourselves. 
Roger that, Ripcord. You Adler? Mac Vsog? Yeah, yeah, just hurry the fuck up already. Yes, sir. Thank you. Don't thank me. Thanks, Bell. He's the one who just snagged us a fucking phone book full of Soviet intel. Let's go. Now. Godspeed, Commander. A fucking nuke? Are you fucking kidding me, Adler? It's a failsafe. That's all you need to know. We've that desperate already. Not yet. Perseus knew. Sims! Bell, you okay? <sighs> You're okay! Ah. Bell, let loose of that goddamn turret before we're overrun! We can call this a success, Sims. At least the nuke didn't go off. More importantly, we got intel on Perseus. Told you we had a job to do. It ain't done yet, not by a long way. How did the memory exercise go? Well, to hear it from Adler, it's working. Bell remembered finding that encrypted intel in Vietnam and has almost finished decoding it. Anything useful in there? Some names, apparently. Possible leads. Park is trying to connect the dots. We don't have much time. Does the team know about our mishap in Berlin yet? No, but if it's connected to one of those names from Bell, they'll find out soon enough. You won't let that happen, Hudson. Don't say anything more than necessary. That's never been a problem for me. We finished analyzing the names Bell acquired at Da Nang. One in particular stands out. Anton Volkov. He's a Russian arms dealer working out of East Berlin. Admittedly, his connection to Perseus comes as a surprise. We've got killer capture orders on Volkov. So if we can't get to Perseus, we'll get to his men. Close off his resources, force him out of hiding. Mason and Woods are still wrapping up business in Kiev. Which means Volkov is ours. Gear up, and we'll move out. Am I 
Isaacs has been tracking Volkov for several years. It is my strong preference that we attempt to capture rather than kill him. He holds answers to a great many questions. Your preference has been noted, Agent Park. Nice work producing that name, Bell. We archive everything. CIA is like my ex-wife. Won't throw a damn thing away. Yeah. The trick is knowing what's buried in that pile and getting the thing you need when you need it. Doc, I think you want this one. You bound some checks again? Collections? I'll take it back here. Here to entertain me. Yeah? Talking about that mission was tough for you, too. Hell, I don't know what I'm saying. Of course it was tough for you. You went through that shit like everyone else. I tried to track that motherfucker years ago, when he went to Italy for a douchebag conference. He's slick. If you see him, tell him Lawrence Sim says hello. I guess we need more of that old school CIA blood with us. I mean, Park over there? She's cool, but she's not company, if you know what I mean. Only when they tell me not to, this assignment, I'm mostly gonna run the shop. Whatever you guys need, I'll make sure you have it. You see, I got a list of connections longer than the Great Wall. Adler needs it, I can procure it. No exceptions. Sure, I could get that. No problem. Easy. I can have that in-house by next week. Uh, clever. But I wasn't joking earlier. That's a hell of a request, but give me enough time and I can have one parked outside. Okay. Now how you gonna pay for that? <laughs> Last I heard, Adler cuts the checks around here. Unless you got a suitcase full of cash, I'm gonna consider your request null and void. Come again. That until you found in Da Nang was treasure trove. We have, for a short while. We share a common interest. Though to be frank, he's not the most pleasant person I've worked with. Well, you tell me. After we dug it up, you spent two full hours decrypting everything inside. You seem to think Volkov was the name to pay attention to. Are you feeling all right, Bell? That's one of the reasons we wanted you on this team. Not even the CIA's best cryptographers have been able to crack that dossier. You're special, Bell. But it also sounds like you need a nap. No more than you need to, I'll tell you that. Avoid personal questions. And whatever you do, never ask him about his scar. Do you really think that if I knew, I would tell you? You're cute. Born on the coast of Leningrad, never travels when the sun's out. He has impeccable taste in scotch and medieval torture devices. I think he'd love the UK. I plan on giving him a personal tour. My pleasure. All right, got to do something. I will be back in about five minutes. 